What's up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here, here today for another new album for a 2020 release. This is going to be for the brand new studio album from the band The Ocean, entitled Phanerozoic 2. This was the follow-up to the previous album of Phanerozoic 1, which dropped in 2018. This was released through Metal Blade Records. Now, if you're not familiar with The Ocean, The Ocean are a German-based progressive sludge metal band, and their discography is one of my favourites. I have absolutely loved how versatile, presenting, and huge they've been sounding from their energy to the instrumentation and the overall qualities and the big worth of listening to this band. I have covered an album from the band before from 2013 entitled Pelagial, which is one of my favorite albums of 2013. And this was the one that got me hooked onto the band. Still one of my favorite albums of the last decade. And I was genuinely surprised that they did come back to follow up the concept of the Phanerozoic geological Aeon concept. I did listen to part one of Phanerozoic from its production being phenomenal and the brilliant expressive vocals and the awesome music. But I feel that this album is more onto a favourite. To me, this is one of their best albums, and to follow up its previous record of part one is a strong, great achievement. I'm going to go into the album track by track, and also discover the ocean for yourself, because they are greatly underrated, that they deserve a lot of the praise that they truly deserve. The first track on the album, Triassic, opens with the beautiful clean guitars to start the song and hearing the rhythm of the drums. The vocals were absolutely melodic and very moody. It delivers a cinematic feel from the verses and its slow progression. The heavy riffage instantly kicks things in with the precise tone and the vocals tone of the screams sounded fantastic. Its repetition of this song continues, but it grabs me from the later on sludgy riffs that fits in perfectly with the crashing drums and its power. It's a very good opening number to begin the album with its atmosphere and dark feelings. The next track, Jurassic Kratokus, opens with the low, dirgy riffing with the other instruments in the background and starts the number in a dramatic feel. Really nice vocal panning in the background and the verse sections were great. The percussive drums with the grunty guitar sounds. It's a doomy feel that decides to grow deeper from its pressure and the vocals were striking and again expressing while the piece continues to grab the listener and hearing melodies and the switchable changes of different riffs and hearing the tight playing from each member that delivers the song very, very well. The changes later on were gentle, but still rhythmic as they continue the progressive nature. And at points it sounds assaulting from the big guitar sound and the drums. Also the low piano notes and the synths continue as they went along. It's a lot to describe on this song because it's the most progressive, the longest number on this record at 13 plus minutes, and it is one of the highlights. The next track, Paleocene, opens with another very aggressive nature, one of the heaviest songs on the album, intense feeling as it goes along, and the tone was so good on this number, because of the immense sound of the band, some phenomenal drumming and riffs, and also the top-notch vocals in your face, 
aggressive vocal distortion. Also, again, like the previous track, the gentle spots from the drums and the guitars with the haunting vocals work to progress its heavy theme. Eosine, this is one of my favourites. Easily the most melodic on the singing, which is absolutely beautiful from the top-notch projection. The delayed guitars in the song were lovely as they stand by themselves, and his instrumentation was very, very nice and sweet. It perfects the later tone of the nature that this song flourishes because of its quieter and lovely presentation. Oligocene, the only instrumental on here, and there isn't much of a structure to listen to as you focus on it, because it's just mainly a looping piece as the drums continue, but it delivers into a, a low, mysterious feel to me, but it does build much more, not too much, builds very steadily because of the synths and the big rumbling bass notes at the same time. Miocene, Pliocene, ambient introductions, the slow tempo steadily goes on very comfortably, and the vocals were soaring and heavy, fantastic once again, and they are one of the best bits on this album. I do love the sound and the tone of how concentrated the sound on the vocals were. The chorus to this song strangely take me into a Mastodon feel because they are always one of my favourite bands of all time and it is something very unexpected to make me think of Mastodon but this chorus is a resemblance of them to my mind. The vocal harmonies are one of my favourite sections to this track and it may be at this pace but it connects at the same time with me because of its experience and it's one of my favorites on this album. Please the Scene is my least favorite. The very tension feeling on the music, on the clean vocals I came in to find its different atmosphere as well as the instrumentation that the previous ones nailed on. And again, a brilliant selection of riffs the pressure of the chorus was uncompromising, but it was very, very good and so fitting. And I really focused on how low-minded, yet the minor sound and weary tone expresses. It is a very good number to follow the rest of the album in these places, with a brief selection of blast beats towards the end. And the intensity brought the heavy sound into very intense purposes. Holocene, this one is one of my top favourites. Song has a futuristic and surreal feel to my mind, and as with the drumming goes, it drives the tempo very solid, and the instrumentation was really good. The vocals, I do love the way they sound. The variety of the ranges, and it's Personally, the best part of this song, as it concludes the album, soft but touching mellow flow, and also the violins were a very nice addition to finish this album. Phanerozoic 2 by The Ocean is still a great album. I do come back to this one more and more over time, and the more I listen to it, it does grow on me. I really liked it. But the more I do think of the musicianship to the, the sheer brilliance of the band. This is one of my favourite albums of 2020. Again, the very good, really solid production is worth the mention as well. And I do like how consistent and the uniqueness of the concept delivers. That's one of the best things about the ocean because I wouldn't have come across a band like these guys that would have some deeper thoughts and facts of any part of history and to put onto these things into music and art forms. And like I said earlier on, you need to check out the ocean, check out 
Pelagio and the previous records as well. Their discography is fantastic without any doubts and no questions that needed to be asked. I'm going to give Phanerozoic 2 by The Ocean a 9 out of 10. Let me know what you think of this album in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.